you for joining us here at the center. We're in the studio, cold, that you're all familiar with, or at least those of you who have been to Mark Morris before for Dance for PD. We're on the fourth floor. We're so happy to be in here. And I'm so delighted to be with some of my favorite people, Natasha being one of them. But here we go, Nicole and Pam. I'd like to start a little bit forward. So if that's comfortable for you, please do so. Feet are parallel, about foot width apart. And again, parallel toes straight ahead. Just let's shake out the shoulders and move the head side to side. We're just going to lift the shoulders, rotating them to the back. Good. Let's just wake up the body a little bit, moving side to side, that rib cage. Ah, let's take a big yawn with it. Ah, work the muscles in our face and your face. Ah, and just let's lift your legs, the feet off the floor. And let's take a big, 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 big get out of bed stretch. Ah. <laughs> Before we get tired, let's just roll into a ball. Tighten it all up. Bring it in. Big surprise face. Here we go. Ah. Beautiful. One more time. Charlie, I love that face. Here we go. And wonderful, beautiful. All right, back to our parallel feet. Imaginary string that we're going to attach to the crown of the head. So every now and then, just to be aware of the, uh, your posture, your alignment. We don't want to round until we do want to round. Drawing the spine in and up and lengthening. Beautiful, and exhale. Lower your chin to your chest and feel a nice little stretch in the back of the neck as you gently move your chin on your chest. Then holding center, slowly lift and looking up towards the ceiling, feeling a stretch in the front. And let's just come back to center, looking straight ahead. It's gonna lower the air to the shoulder. So try not to lift it up, reaching that ear down towards the shoulder. Beautiful. And slowly coming up. Let's take it to the other side to reach. So we want to keep that shoulder pressing down. And coming up. We're going to do that one more time. To the side, reach. And then you're going to take your arm and touch the opposite side either your shoulder or your chest, sort of pressing down and feeling a bit more of a full stretch, lengthening here. And slowly come up, not forcing everything, really using the warm up as a time to slowly come into your body. Other side. And arm to, hand to the opposite shoulder. Wonderful, and slowly lifting up. We're going to lift the shoulders up like a sh good shrug, and then roll them back so the shoulder blades meet, and then lower down on the back. One more time, lift the shoulders up. Roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades to meet, and lower down. We're going to take it from the back, so shoulder blades meeting, lift shoulders up, Rolling forward, and this time we're going to round the spine into a C shape and let the chin fall to your chest. On an inhale, we're going to slowly roll the shoulders back, bringing the chest through and lifting your head. Roll the shoulders back, beautiful. Two times, and then we're going to roll the shoulders forward. Lower your chin to your chest and round through. Slowly roll your shoulders back, bringing the chest through. And just two little rolls to the back. Good. Ah, lifting your arms out in front and le leading with the wrist, facing the screen, opening your fingers, closing them, 
and then like a paintbrush, using your hands, drop down. Again, lifting up. Open those fingers, spread them apart, close them, and painting in front. Let's lift one arm up, reach, reach, reach. Now remember that string. Let's grab a hold of that string and let's just gently swing that string to the side. So we get a little stretch along the side of the body. Oh, beautiful, really nice swings. Yes, and release down. Other side, lifting up. Grab a hold of that string. <sighs> nice. Beautiful. Let's just tack that string back up, lengthening in the spine and release. Lift that arm once again, and this time without the string, reaching down towards the floor as though you're going to pick something up, and then reaching up towards the ceiling as though you're going to reach for that string, and slowly coming up. Other side, reach, reach, reach. Touch the ground, pick something up from the ground, and then reach up nice and tall. Beautiful. Last time, we're going to reach that arm up, and then reaching towards the back, a little spiral towards the back, and take the other arm across your body, to either the outside of the chair, outside of your thigh, keeping that arm out, or just hook onto the back of the chair, looking over your shoulder, and then staying there with your torso, we're going to just look over the opposite shoulder. <sighs> and looking back over that shoulder, reaching up and down. Other side, let's reach. And over, looking behind. Either hooking on to the back or extending that arm. Opposite arm to the outside of that thigh or chair. And then turn the head, looking at the opposite shoulder. Nice. And looking back. Reach up back to center, and lower down. Here, we're going to lift both arms, interlace the fingers, bring the palms in towards your chest. On a big exhale, reach out towards the ceiling. Lovely. And if it's comfortable, we'll reach up. And we're going to bend at the elbows, and as though there's a teacup that's resting on our palms. We're going to lower it on top of the head. Very nice. Reach. And big release. Stretch those fingers out to the sides. Hands in front as though you're playing a piano or typing on the computer. Beautiful, beautiful. Making a big ball. And release. Wonderful. Again, let's hold on to some positive energy and send it out to everyone out in front. One more time. Ah, beautiful. And I'm going to grab some wonderful energy for myself from out there. Woo, yeah. Fabulous, everyone. And shake it out. We're going to go into our isolation exercises where we start with the head, working it in various ways into the shoulders, into the arms, the chest, the rib cage, and working the legs and the feet. And this will prepare us for the dance as we warm up each body part, all right? So when I say double time, when we start out, we're going full range of motion, whatever that means for you. And then when I say double time, we're going to decrease the range of motion. So for an example, I'm going full range of motion to the side. Now, when I say double time, I'm bringing it in. I don't need to go all the way to the side, all right? So just remembering that, that whenever we increase the speed, we're going to decrease the range of motion. Let's take a check once again. Oh, my string, and I'm breathing, and I feel good. All right, <laughs> Arlene, I love 
how animated you are. Love it. All right, here we go. We're going to take the head to the side and center. All right, Don. And Pam is going to give us this tempo. Six, five, six, seven. Take it side. Center, look side. And center, and side. Beautiful. We're going to leave out center. Take it to the side, and side, and side, and side, and side, and side, and side. We're going to make it a little faster. Now remember, we're decreasing the range of motion. Excellent. So we're not going all the way to either side. Beautiful. Looking up and center. Drop down and center and up and center. Let's leave out center. And we're going to look up and down and up and down and up and down. We're going to say yes and yes and yes and yes and yes. Now we're going to really say yes. We're going to increase the speed. A little movement. Excellent, everyone. Excellent. Beautiful. We're going to go to the chicken peck. We're going to go out, center, back, and center, and out. I'm going to do the pick and check to Nicole. Here we go. The chicken peck to Nicole. Back, center, and out. Now we're going to leave out center and small movement. And out. In and out. In. Nice. And rest. Just lift the shoulders up towards your ear. So we relax that neck. Drop chin to the chest. Shake it out. We're going to look down and side. Go back and side. Down. Side. Back. Let's make a smooth circle. Eight counts. Three. Five. Six. Seven. Let's reverse. Sit down. Side. Looking up. And side. And down. Side, one circle in eight counts, and breathing with it. Five, six, seven, eight, and circle the shoulder forward. Beautiful. Working from that shoulder blade, relax that arm down. Nice. Let's go to the back. Take it back. And two, and three. And four, other side, and back, and two, and three. Now we're going to alternate forward, eight counts, and a little bit faster. Two, three, four, five, wonderful. Take it to the back, back, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do both shoulders together, and we're going to lean forward, three, four, going back, two, just in four counts. Leaning forward, two, nice, three, four, take it back, two, three, four, shake it out. Ah, nice breath in, exhale, touching your shoulders, we're going to reach as far as we can, yes, four times, reaching up as high as you can, reaching out in front, and if there's someone in your space, you can reach to them, and we're going to shake it down, shimmy, we'll do it in four counts, we'll do it in two, and we'll do it in a single count. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Reach out. Bring it in. And two. And three. And four. Reaching up. Push it up. And two. And three. And four. To the front. And front. And two. <laughs> and three. And four. And let it out. And two. Nice, everyone. Three. Let's try two counts. Here we go. Out. And two. Push it up. And two. To the front. And front. And two. Then release. We're going to go right to a single count. We're going to go out and up. To the front. And release. Take it out. To the up. To the front. And release. Watch what we're going to do. Out, up, front, shimmy, out. So now, notice now I'm not going to extend my arms all the way out. Arlene wants to, and that's absolutely fine, and so does Paul. I'm just going to reach, keeping my elbows slightly bent. That's it, Ellen. Out, up, front, and shimmy. Bringing it a little closer in like a little dance movement. Here we go. Out, up, and front, and shake it out. Out, up, and front, 
and shake it out, out, up and front and shake it out, out, up, front. Everyone, you did fabulously well. I usually mess it up myself, so that's wonderful. All right, yes, Yuki, you deserve to clap for yourself. All right, we're going to work to the, work the rib cage. Again, we're just going to take a little check. Ah, relaxed. And sitting up nice and tall. We're going to reach side and center, all right? Then we'll work to the chest. Five, six, seven, eight. Take it side, center, side, center. Good, side, center. Let's leave out center. Take it side, 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 side. Now we're going to make it a little bit smaller movement. Remember? So it's like a little rock. That's it, gets you. Yes, everyone. To the chest. Stick it out. Center. Bring it in. Center. Out. Center and in, center, out, center, belly button into the spine, and out, center, contract, let's leave out, center, out, in, in, out, in, now a smaller movement, that's it, Joan, chest focusing on that articulation of chest out, we're going to circle out, side, back, side, out, side, back, side, nice, Side, back, side. Now this is a movement that's much easier to do when you're seated. Let's just do a big torso circle. Ah, yes, coming into the screen. Last one. Ah, and reverse it. Out, side, back, side, out, side, back, side. of paper right under your your bottom in the chair so we're just lifting ever so slightly slip lower down and lift all right here we go five six seven eight and lift and lift and lift that's it everyone and lift and lift and lift and lift now we're going to keep that paper and we're just going to rock from side to side to side, to side, to side, to side. Excellent. Toe and toe. Tap. Four, five, six, seven. Other foot, toe, tap. Two, and we can work the arms, the hands. Lift that heel, pull it up. Two, three, four, five, six. Other side, pull it up. Let's do it in four counts and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, heel, yes everyone, heel, let's go in two counts, toe tap, toe tap, lift the heel, lift the heel, one more set, toe tap, toe tap, lift the heel, let's do a single count, so we're alternating and heel. Heel and toe, toe and heel, heel and toe, toe, heel, heel and toe, toe, heel, heel and rest. Wonderful. Shake out the legs in front. Let's just lift one leg off the floor. And we're just going to make a little circle in one direction. And reverse. Beautiful. Point your toes down towards the floor, back up towards the ceiling. Lower that heel to the floor, feel the stretch in that leg, and then slide that foot in. Other side, let's just gently circle that ankle in one direction. And reverse. Good. Toes down towards the floor, toes up towards the ceiling, lower, and slide it in. Great. We're going to go into one of my favorite dances, and it's a dance that comes from Haiti, and it's called Congo. This dance is, it's, it has many aspects to it. The 
uh, what we're going to do today, it's a flirtatious dance. And sometimes it's done in a circle, sometimes it's done with partners. And we're going to pretend we're doing this with partners, that we're surrounded by a lot of people. And we're walking into the space and deciding, hmm, who do I want to dance with? I'm not sure, because I'm such a fabulous dancer, so I have to really, really be picky. <laughs> All right, so we're going to look around as we do. So you're really going to be using that gaze in your, as you dance. All right. So the part of the body actually in Congo, in this dance, you use every part of your body. You really, really do. But the hips, it's thought that that's used the most because um, it's associated with the Congolese people. And in Congolese dance, every part of the body is moving, but the hips and the rib cage are really focused upon. In Haiti, we have um, the influence of the French. So you see this in this dance where it's very upright from the torso up and bending our knees so that we have a little bit more fluidity from the waist down. Yes, Arlene, that's it. Arlene is, yes, yes, Ellen, I'm seeing people already doing it. Fine, that's fabulous, all right? So the first movement, I've given it the name Rock With Me. So we're going to rock the arms side to side. And looking around, we're walking to the space, all right? Then we're going to go to the side. So you're going to step side, back to center and side, back to center and side. We do that four times on one side. And we're going to change directions and swing and center and swing. And if you're standing, you notice that Nicole is really working her hips, that's fabulous, that's what you want to do, all right? And how do we access the hips? By bending those knees, all right. The next movement, we're looking around, we're going to walk one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Remember, you're the hottest thing in the room, you just walked in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right? It's like, hmm, let me look over here. Hmm, I'm gonna do it to Nicole. Hmm, <laughs> and I'll do it to Pam, and I'll do it to you, all right? There we, perfect, Charlie. The next movement is a little turn, like looking around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, change, focus, two, three, four, five. So look around the space. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just try those movements with the music and I'll call it out as we make the shift and the change, all right? So here we start with that rock walking into the space, looking around your space. Beautiful, everyone. All right, here we go. Pam's gonna give us Congo. I'm gonna ask her to do da, da, uh -oh, da, sorry, sorry, no. da, and then we start. So we have four beats before we start. And rock. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two. I'm looking around, here we go. Turn to your side. And one, back to steep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Good. We're going to change to the other side. Leading one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Two, beautiful. Let's go dancing and see who we see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Two, three, four, five, six. One more set. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Beautiful. Let's do a little half turn so we can see who's behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fabulous. Next move is that now we're going to show off yourself. You're going to really show your body off. So it's as though we're making a frame, an oval frame. So we reach the arms up to touch, 
and down. And if you're standing, you're making that frame that just comes right in front. So we step one, two, three, four, and down. Seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, and everyone should be looking at you now because wow, now you're framing all your beauty. Five, six, seven, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I neglected to say that you should smile with this, this is a happy dance, <laughs> all right? Happy, Yael is giving me that smile, beautiful, all right. Next movement is a little shimmy, and we did our shimmy in our warm-up, if you recall. Yes, Arlene. So we're gonna shimmy four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, beautiful. Just a couple of more steps, all right? Next movement, and seated or standing. Ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel. All right, so actually we're only gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we have ball and heel and ball and down and ball and heel and ball and down. Now when we do this movement, you're really going to turn your gaze, your focus to that working leg, all right? Looking in that direction, beautiful, yes. So we're going to look one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ball and heel and ball and down and ball and heel and ball and down. All right, we're almost through. So now we see someone over there looking at us and someone over there looking at, what do we do? What's a person to do? Reach, <laughs> reach, do. So remember we work that rib cage in our warm up. Beautiful. So it's as though someone's pulling you in, two people are pulling you in, in different directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring that person in and say, really? Tapping their toes. And you can get those hips going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to leave. We can decide to leave with that person <laughs> or say bye. So that's your choice. If you decide to leave with them, hook that arm and strut. Okay, Paul has decided he's leaving. Or you may say bye. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. All right, fabulous. So taking it from the new material, we have the merengue step. Three, four, and two, two, three, four. We shimmy forward. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two, three. Get ready for that ball. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Foot flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flat foot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flat. Okay, you're in great demand. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four. Cross your arms and let's decide. And one, two, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, and two, two, three, four. We're out of here, all right? Fabulous. So we're going to take this from the top. So remember, you're the most fabulous person walking into this space, and everyone is waiting for you to come, to show up. Oh, I love it. Here Nicole <laughs> is the most fabulous person. Here we go and rock. Love it. Oh, yes, let's look around. Here 
we go to the side and rock. Three, four, five, six, seven, and two, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Let's rock the other side and one, two, three, four. Yes. Let's travel to the side and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, four, five, six. job again that dance is congo and it's a dance of grace of beauty of love but it's also about feeling really really good about yourself not being conceited but being confident when you do this movement beautiful everyone so we're going to slowly transition to standing but before we do let's take a deep breath in through the nose and we're going to let it out on a sigh <sighs> lowering your chin to your chest Breathe in and slowly lift the head through your nose. Lift, breathe it in. Exhale. One last time, breathe in. And on the exhale, this time as you lower your chin to your chest, you're just going to round the spine once again. Slowly roll the shoulders back as we did earlier. And bring the chest through, lifting the head, and shake it out. And let's come to stand as we transition to our next dance. So the next dance that we're going to do, so that dance comes from Haiti, and this dance is from Guinea. It's time for us to be farmers and prepare for the crops that are coming in September. All right. So this dance is called Kakilambi, and some of you may remember it. I taught it a while ago. In this dance, we're going through the whole process of clearing the land, planting the seeds, watering our crops, cutting them down, maybe even eating them, that would be nice, gathering them up and then taking them to market, all right? The dance Kakilambi is associated with, not only the rhythm is called Kakilambi in the dance, but a spirit that actually looks over the harvest. So each year, People will put out fruit and various things to appease the, the spirit, the kakilambi, so that they have a good harvest. They have enough food to feed themselves and to be able to take what they have left over to market and make money. All right. So it's a really, really, really important time. So we first, we, so it's really sequential, the dance. We start by clearing the air, clearing the land. So however you want to cl clear the air as well, clear the land. We're going to pick those weeds, get rid of them, get rid of them. Good, everyone, pick them, get rid of them. Great. Now we're going to get our rake, and we're just going to turn that soil over. So we're going to take two digs forward and then pull it back. 
So we're gonna dig forward and pull it back. Good. And forward. Nice, everyone. And back. And in your space, if you're standing or even if you're seated, explore moving in different directions with it. All right, all around your land here. My land is going back here. Good. Excellent. Now it's ready, so I'm ready to plant my seeds. I'm gonna pick up my big bale, and I'm gonna plant. So I'm just gonna drop those seeds and drop them all around. And for places I can't reach, I'm gonna throw them and throw. You can alternate arms so that you get the use of using both arms and throw and throw, wonderful. Now what do we need? We need the sun and we need rain. So we're going to ask the sun and we're going to ask the sky god for rain. We're going to reach step, step, step together, step, step, step together. So arms are reaching up, pleading for sun and for rain. Wonderful. Now let's look. Miraculously, everything has grown. Everything has grown. Yes, right? What are you going to do, Ketsia? It's grown, so what we're going to do, we're going to chop and pluck, <laughs> all right? So the chop, we're going to pretend that your hand, the outside of your hand, is a machete. We chop, chop, and then we're going to grab whatever we're grabbing off the, the vine. Fruit, we're going to twist it because it's really hard. So we're going to grab, twist, and pull it down. So this motion is grab, twist, and pull it down. All right, and it really happens rather fast. Grab and down, good, and we call this plucking. Excellent, beautiful. So we have our chop, chop, and then we pluck, pluck. We chop, we're alternating, and pluck, pluck. We chop, chop, and pluck, pluck and chop, chop, and pluck, pluck, fabulous. Next movement, we have all of our crops, all of our fruits, our vegetables are right here. We have to gather them up and then stack what we're not going to use. So we're going to gather, I'm gonna do two, gather, gather, and stack, and stack, and gather, gather, and stack. Maybe they're there on the other side, gather, gather, and stack it up and gather, gather and stack, stack. All right, excellent. What happens next? We're almost done. We have to bring in the Kakilambi spirit so the Kakilambi can see what we've done. So looking in one direction, we're going to bring in the Kakilambi. Two, three, four. Maybe the Kakilambi is coming from the other side. Two, three, four. Where is the Kakilambi? We don't know. Ah, oh, there's the Kakilambi. Kakilambi is finally here. So what do we celebrate? The celebration is now, yes, perfect, Don. Show me your celebration. Show me what your celebration would be. Yes, Ketsia. Yes, Paul. Yes, Dana. Yes, Yael. Yes, Terry, Joe, everyone, Charlie, Arlene. That is personal to you, what your celebration is going to be. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just so happy to see the Kakilambi. Now we're going to take our basket. We can share. I'm going to bar, take, not borrow, I'm just going to take from you. I'm going to share out here. Yes, Paul, thank you. You can have some of, I have fruits. I, I have some nice apples. Here you go, Arlene. And then the very last thing, we have enough food for ourselves. We're going to take it now to market, sit it down, and prepare to make money. Okay. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So let's start from the beginning and the first, and I'm just going to talk us through each movement when we change. Normally we would change with, I'm, with the rhythm. The break would tell us when to switch to the next step, I'm going to say, and you could break, and I'll say, and I'll say next step, all right? Here we go. Let's clear the, oh, yes, someone's in for business. Christina's just took off, just, Christina just took off her glasses. Yes, not your glasses, your, your jacket. You're ready for business. Here we go. Let's get ready. Clear that land. Just, get rid of 
into those weeds, however you would do it. Woo, bending over, yes. Working side to side, get a little twist in there. Get ready, we're going to pick up that rake. Here we go, and two, forward and pull it back. Clear that soil around you and pull it. And yes, beautiful. Again, let's really clear around you. So get the shoulders rolling forward and back as we did in our warm up. Nice, everyone. And rolling forward and back. Get ready. Let's pick up our veil. We're going to plant those seeds and drop. So grab a handful of seeds and really spread those fingers out. You can switch sides. Get ready to throw. Woo! Send it out. Throw. Switching arms. We need sun and rain. So we step, 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 step. Beautiful. Everything has grown miraculously so. Get ready. We're going to chop, chop, and pluck, and pluck, and pluck, chop, and pluck. So let's try heights, down low and up, and reach again. Grab a hold of that foot, pull, that fruit, pull it down. Good, and chop, chop, go, Joe. We have to gather, gather, gather and stack, and gather, gather and stack it up around. Again, working levels here, low, high, reach it, bring it in. Get ready, we have to celebrate the cocky lobby. Bring it in. Oh, where's the cocky lobby coming from? We don't know. <laughs> and get ready for your celebration, which is personal. Ah! Yay! All right. <laughs> Wonderful Excellent. job, everyone. Fabulous. Ah, we're going to start our cool down. So we're going to do... A little bit of our sun salutation, which generally comes at the beginning. We're just going to put it here, all right? Thank giving you. thanks, really giving thanks to all of you for Thank just you. Um, really giving of yourselves. So if you're standing, soft knees. We're going to reach the arms up, and as I do, I'm just going to separate my legs. I have parallel feet and lower down your heart, reaching up, and right from here, I'm just going to open, take arms out to the sides, reach, palms together, lowering down to your heart, reach up, and this time we're going to turn the fingers down towards the earth. Bending the knees if you're standing, and you don't have to go all the way down. Just feel as though the crown of the head is reaching into the earth. Let it all just hang. Gently move your head side to side. Reaching up with one arm, leading with the elbow, the wrists, the fingers. Leading down towards the earth, fingers, wrist, elbow. Other side, reaching a slight little twist in the body. And down towards the earth. Slowly rounding up. So you're going to keep your focus on your fingers for as long as you can. The head is going to be the last body part to stack at the top. 
at the top we lift the shoulders to the back arms to the sides as we reach up once again nice breath in exhale down inhale reach exhale down towards the earth and here we can round the spine as we go down towards the earth crown of the head reaching into the earth gently move the head side to side everything should be a little looser again reach one arm up and down other side reach and lower down taking your time to slowly come up shoulders to the back last time big just releasing into the earth relax the hands the arms the head reaching up and as you reach up this time we're going to bend the opposite leg if it's comfortable to do so and down towards the earth come to a neutral position both knees are bent and then slowly reach up as you bend the opposite Right from here, we're just going to bend, take two little presses down toward, to press down towards the earth, slowly reaching, rounding up, shoulders up into the back, reach the arms up, exhale to the sides, and reach up to the other side. the front and out to you all. Thank you all so very much. Thank